Agribusiness, brought to you by SureCrop, quality liquid crop nutrition delivered right to your farm. Good morning and welcome back to the show. We're at the 2012 Kansas Agribusiness Expo Correct. in Wichita, Kansas. Guys, Doug's helped me with this. Uh, this is our fourth take, so <laughs> thank you, Doug, for helping. Uh, you're welcome the chairman, um, uh, basically, of the committee that um, we're Kansas Agri Retailers Association. Chairman of the Kansas Agri Retailers Association. In a second year, I can't even get it out. So <laughs> we're both struggling. Uh, what a great event! Uh, Tom uh, and I had a chance to sit down and have lunch together, and he continues to say, and I saw him last year, uh, about how much the show has grown, uh, the role the show plays in bringing people together and sharing information and ideas. Yes, and uh, it does continue to grow. And this is. Uh, the way the numbers look right now, we have more ex exhibitors than we've ever had, and our registration numbers are up, and uh, we're extremely excited about that. I have to give a lot of credit back to our staff at the Kansas Ag Retailers and Kansas Green and Feed. Those are the people that are able to make this, this show grow with the vendors and with the registrants that come in for the show. And this just isn't your typical show. It's, it's an opportunity for uh, people who serve farmers, not exactly. farmers themselves, but people who serve farmers to come and talk about new innovative ideas and things like that. And, and you're in the business that serves farmers also. Yes, we are. I work for Mid-Kansas Co-op in Mandridge, Kansas, and we're a grain company first and uh, a supply company second. We receive the grain that comes from the farmer's fields. We market that for those customers. We also sell them supplies to uh, help them produce those crops. And we had talked uh, um, off camera a little bit, and one of the things you guys do is try to educate farmers about the role they play in feeding the world. Well, our theme this year at the Agribusiness Expo is the worldwide marketplace that we're working with, and it's how to survive in that global economy and, and global marketplace. We do continue to remind our producers that what they grow goes into the food chain, and they're growing food. It's not that they're just growing a crop or livestock. They're growing food, and it's going back into uh, food for the American public and also being exported into the world marketplace. Well, and again, I think most people who uh, aren't involved in agriculture may be shocked to know exactly how much comes out of the state of Kansas that feeds the world, you know, the pork that goes to China, the beef that goes to China. I mean, every aspect of agriculture here in the state of Kansas ends up somewhere around the globe. It does. We touch a lot of different corners uh, around the world, different countries. Uh, one of the roles that we have within the Kansas Agribusiness uh, Retailers Association is a political involvement to try to work with our legislators, both at a state and national level, to encourage those developments uh, of those foreign marketplaces, uh, along with our other partners, such as the wheat growers, the corn growers, in the KLA. Um, someone watching the show is not a member of the uh, Kansas Agri Retailers Association. Why should they be a member? Well, uh, we speak for the retailer. Uh, we're watching out uh, from a legislative and a regulatory principle and uh, venue uh, to keep things on an even playing field, make ourselves responsible. Uh, so that what we're doing isn't a detriment uh, and uh, leaving as clean a footprint as what we can. Well, again, I think it comes back to there's no better stewards of the land than the farmer and there's no better teacher than, the, than you guys helping the farmer understand what they're doing and how the impact that it's making on the world. And we do try to partner with our customers very well uh, and very strongly to encourage those things and uh, to make it all sustainable for us. What do you tell a farmer, and, and you're in the co-op industry, uh, but what do you tell a farmer who's come out of a second year of a drought, uh, banging his head against a truck when he comes in and wants to buy some fertilizer? I mean, what type of advice are you guys trying to give those farmers, ground level? Well, it, uh, you know, things will get better. Um, you know, it's an odds game too. Right. You know, how many years can we go right. through this? Although history might make us a little bit of a liar there. Uh, it, it does seem we're in a strong drought cycle that will next year bring. We don't know, mm -hmm. but it's about putting the best management techniques and putting the right, right crop and the right acre in the right place to try to get the most bang for their buck and the best return that they can get. Doug, thank you for your time. You're I know welcome, you're very, Brian. very busy today, so thank you for your time. Today. You're welcome. Thank you.